Hey YouTube Rando here. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a review on the UCO Mini Candle Lantern. This is the one that uses the teacup lights. Uh, I thought I was going to be able to take this thing out this weekend and I'm not. So I just want to throw down a desktop review and kind of do a comparison to its bigger brother, the uh, UCO Candle Lantern. Uh, give you some pros and cons on it. I'm going to give you some quick specs. Get the boring stuff out of the way first. Uh, the and these are the specs on the red one, the UCO Mini. Uh, it's a four hour burn time, three to four hours with that teacup candle and that's with the replacement candles coming from UCO. Uh, it'll put out 450 BTUs, 15 lumens. Uh, it is made, the top of it here is a stainless steel heat shield. Um, it uses the same twist lock base that this one uses. You just twist it here and top comes off. I'm trying to think of any uh, anything that I'm kind of leaving out. It's four inches tall and it's actually two and a quarter inches wide. So it's actually wider than the UCO candle lantern and we'll get into that in just a minute. Uh, now it weighs right around 3.5 ounces which is 99 grams. So it is about half the weight of this one. You can get optional accessories for it. You can get the top reflector, the side reflector. Uh, I actually looked up and you can get a protective case for it, which was what I was worried about. It's a cocoon protective case. And you can get the tea light candles from UCO that are four, three to four hour candles. Uh, and if you get the beeswax, I think they're like five or six hours or something like that. It's not much of a difference, but it is a difference. Uh, and also you get the centronella candles as well. Uh, let's just jump right into it, and I'm going to give you, tell you my first thoughts on it, and that is, it's not, it's not any smaller than the UCO candle lantern, the full size candle lantern. Uh, you can see with this one closed, it's actually quite a bit smaller. Uh, this one's a little bit shorter, but this one's quite a bit uh, thinner. It's not as wide as the teacup candle and a uh, couple things that I like about this one is is it does pop up so it is bigger when it's extended uh, but as far as storage I mean that's all you have right there you know it, it's it stores a lot better than this one this one is more of a backpacking <clears throat> lantern it's something you can throw in your bug out bag or your hiking pack or camping pack or whatever and uh, not too much worry about it getting broken however this one uh, the glass is always exposed there's you know it doesn't slide down into the aluminum it, by the way this is an aluminum body the only thing that's stainless on it is this heat shield and it's the same thing with this one the heat shield is uh, stainless and the body is aluminum so uh, but getting back to it that that is one very big con for me is that you can't just throw it in a pack. Uh, you would definitely need a protective case for it of some kind, especially in my pack where things kind of, you know, get tossed around. I have knives in there, hard handles, stuff like that, that'll just crack that glass uh, pretty easily, actually. Uh, and it's about the same thickness as the glass they use on this, uh, the regular candle lantern, but there's nothing there to protect it you know it's all open sides all the way around it there's no you know this one slides down and you have this and the only way you could actually break it would be to puncture it through the uh, candle sight or you can see you can see it through the top in here so you, I guess you could crack the top uh, something through here uh, this one it, they do sell a protective case for it as well uh, I just keep it in a pair of clean socks I just throw some uh, some socks in my around it and throw it in my bug out bag and it's fine fine to go so uh, this one's probably going to be just at the home we'll use it around the house you know lights go out something like that uh, it'll just be emergency lighting around the house um, so I do like it uh, I like the aspect that you can use a much cheaper candle because these candles uh, let's see if I can get a shot of it those candles they're about that big and they run about two dollars a piece for the cheapest ones and up to about three to four dollars a piece for the beeswax and those are nine hour 
and the beeswax are 12 hour. So these, this is just regular paraffin wax. And then these, you can use these little teacup candles. So I'm pretty sure that that teacup candle from UCO isn't any bigger or smaller than the teacup candle from, uh, you know, like the Dollar Tree where you get 24 of them for a dollar. So that, that kind of is what I wanted it for. And now I'm kind of upset because uh, of the glass. So I think I'm going to try to buy a protective case for it and then maybe uh, I won't, you know, I won't be worried about breaking it, more or less. So uh, we're definitely going to buy some of them candles and see if it works. And then if they do, we're going to have to figure out a way to pack this one because uh, I don't like buying replacement candles for this one. This is the third candle I've gone through on this one, by the way, but I have used it quite a bit. Those candles, when they say they last nine hours, they really do last nine hours. And uh, by the way, UCO makes a special paraffin, paraffin wax for these candles. <clears throat> the the wax isn't supposed to melt unless it's being burned by the flame. So it's going to evaporate as it burns so you don't have a bunch of messy wax running down your glass, especially on this one. Uh, you don't have it running down this still piece here, aluminum piece rather, and getting wax all down in there. You can see it stays clean down in there. It, it you know, the wax isn't everywhere, so you don't have to worry about that. Uh, so that may be a problem with the other candles, but as long as you don't spill it or tip it, I think it should be fine. Uh, we're definitely going to try it out, though, and with the cheaper candles and see how it works. So we'll be doing an update review on it after we take it out, and I'll let you know how everything comes out with it. Uh, and I'm going to be doing an update review on the big boy here, too. And then I have a new one coming in, an LED lantern from UCO. And I have plans on getting the three candle uh, UCO candle in, and it's it's much bigger. Uh, you can actually boil water on the top of it; it gets so hot. So we'll be doing a video on it as well as soon as it comes in. So that'll be it for this one. Thanks for watching, YouTube.